Hey, Tom Sweeney here, and today I am gonna show you how to tape straight lines. Now, a lot of professional painters may say, oh, I can freehand a straight line, I don't need tape, but I'm here to tell you, you cannot beat a tape line. So in this small foyer here, I've already taped uh, three quarters of it, and I'm gonna show you my technique. I'm gonna pick off right here. We're gonna do the corner in this edge of this ceiling here. Uh, painted the ceiling yesterday. We've got two coats of flat white paint on here. And let me show you the tape that I recommend. Now this is a 3M, and it's made for straight lines. And this is kind of like an easy release tape. Um, what I like about this is that you can really manipulate the tape. It doesn't stick to your fingers. Um, you can get it in, you can break it easy, and it pulls off real nice. So I'm gonna finish this line right here. And so what we do here is we take about five inches of free tape here and we can manipulate it and move it and we work it right into where the wall meets the ceiling. And so I rip the tape a little bit long and I am lining it right up. And here is a very important part. I use a fine flat headed screwdriver to seal the tape. Now this is one of the most important parts is sealing the tape down so you don't get the bleed. So I am going to use the very corner of the screwdriver and I'm gonna visually make sure that this is touching the tape and we are gonna get this as tight as we can to the wall, to the ceiling. And when I'm gonna break this tape, I am gonna put the screwdriver right into the corner. Now I'm applying pressure onto the tip of the screwdriver. And then I pull that tape and we've got a perfect tear right there where we want it. So now I'm gonna start taping this section and I'm gonna rip the edge of my tape on a little angle, so you, you see it's angled a little bit. I can fit this right up into the corner to get it started. Now, some people might have trouble doing that. And if you have trouble putting your first little stretch of tape in, take it a little longer, go past it. And I'm gonna get this first section started. When I get to a point, I'm gonna take the roll of tape, pull a little extra, and I am gonna secure it to the wall because I don't wanna rip off strips at a time and try to meet them up. And to get a perfect line, you wanna keep one continuous line of tape. So I'm back to sealing this tape back into the corner. Pressure on the screwdriver, and you got a good pull here. Okay, I got a little tiny bump here, a little defect in the ceiling. These are the only areas you gotta be real careful. You gotta go over them really good with the screwdriver. Those are the areas that will, you might get a little bleed. And not, most ceilings aren't perfect. I, I can see a little lump there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Cut in with the paint right after I seal it with the screwdriver. And if you wait too long, you want to go back over your tape again just to make sure it doesn't loosen up. Okay, so let's let's make our move. Our tape is secured to the wall. Take about five, six inches. Now you're visually lining it up. You're physically moving the tape, getting it right to where you want it. You can secure the tape with your fingers until you go back with the screwdriver. I'm gonna pull it a little long, rip it. This is all I need. Okay. And once you get this down, 
every room that you do, you're going to have the nicest lines. Which is one part of the paint job that makes it look super professional. So now when you're applying the paint, you don't have to be careful with it. You just work it right up to the tape, touch the tape. Kind of the theory behind this is when you do your second coat, then the tape's already up there, and so you're just brushing the paint on as opposed to having to hand cut and be real careful. So with the timing, it takes about the same amount of time to tape and cut two coats as it is to hand cut two coats. So it's gonna cost you, what, a roll of tape to get these straight lines? Now, I've already painted this wall here, so I'm gonna pull this tape, and we're gonna see what kind of results we get. Okay, I'm gonna pull the tape on a little bit of a 45 degree angle. And there we go, look at that. That is a jet straight line. A free hand isn't going to come close to that. It's that easy. So, use the tape, professional lines. Good luck on your taping and all your home improvement projects.